All right, now let's review this year's Halloween strategy. Now this is the Miller House. The Millers give away nice, healthy fruit, so obviously we'll be egging the Miller House. <laughs> Now, Mr. Grover here, he doesn't believe in Halloween, but I say we ring his doorbell over and over again anyhow. Well, how come? He's a Jehovah's Witness, and I just want him to know what it feels like for a change. We had a Halloween party down at the extermination company. It was fun for a while, but we all learned a very valuable lesson. Never spray poison into each other's mouths and play Twister. <laughs> People were dropping like flies. Well, that just goes to show you, you're never too blonde to learn. All right, kids, let's put on our costumes that we made last night. <laughs> trouble. How'd you know it was me? <laughs> well, you told me you were going as a princess. <laughs> anyway, I'm hosting a Halloween charity fundraiser tonight for women who killed their husbands just to watch them die. <laughs> you can't imagine how hard it is to find an appropriate theme party. And then it hit me. What I needed was a megastar rock group. And I did it. I got the hottest rock group from the 70s, the Village People. <laughs> Surely you've heard of the Village People. They were huge. They sold millions. And they just called Collect and said they can't make it. <laughs> so now I've got a house full of angry menopausal women. <laughs> who have paid $100 a head to see the village people. So as a favor to me, I'd like you all to come over to the party. Oh, thank God. I thought she was gonna ask us to dress up as the village people and entertain. <laughs> and dress up as the village people and entertain. <laughs> That's insane. But we couldn't possibly pull that off. Yeah, now what kind of idiot would set himself up for a suicide mission like that? <laughs> Marcy, are you sure the lead singer wore his pants this tight? <laughs> the cow these came from couldn't walk in this leather. Jefferson, there are women at our house who have killed their husbands for saying, where's my bacon? <laughs> now, do you want to be the one to tell them there's no village people? <laughs> now, go oil your pecs and get macho. <laughs> I'll oil my pecs, but no way I'm getting macho. I have my dignity. <laughs> so, any other volunteers? Uh, no, no way. Wait, 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 There's five hundred dollars in it for you. Macho, macho. Halloween. <laughs> Ask me how much I hate Halloween. More than that. <laughs> oh, they make all us employees put on these costumes like some woman's gonna say, gee, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna buy any shoes today. <laughs> but since I see you in a dinosaur costume, I will. <laughs> and of course, the ride home from work wouldn't have been so bad if the kids had actually got gas instead of painting the needle on the gauge full. <laughs> Then again, I don't mind pushing the Dodge through gang turf because I'm a mighty Stegosaurus. <laughs> By the way, did I mention how much I hate Halloween? Go away. <laughs> <laughs> 